Hi, my name is Mike Zeiser and I'm the Vice President of Business Solutions for CHPIT at Catholic Health Partners. I'm here today to talk to you about ICD-10 and what we're doing to make sure that this journey is successful. You've heard from Deborah Youngblood, the Vice President of RevCycle for CHP, talking about what they're doing to prepare for this journey. And today I want to talk about the technology side and how we're doing everything we can to ensure that this is a successful journey for all of us. I think this is an exciting time to be in healthcare IT, in particular working for a company like Catholic Health Partners. CHP has always invested its employees and made sure that we have the tools to do our job. ICD-10 is a great example of that. We've budgeted over $60 million in capital, plus putting all the people and time and effort to make sure that this journey is a success. As the information technology sponsor for this project, I want you to know that I'm very confident that we're doing everything we can to be successful. We've inventoried over 800 applications and put together a project plan of over 150 systems where we're going to be upgrading the hardware, the workstations, and the systems and applications to make sure they're ready for use as you move forward. We're also ensuring that you get the proper training so you'll understand how these systems work and you can move forward confidently knowing that you're going to be prepared for this change to ICD-10. In addition to upgrading over 150 different systems, we're also investing in some new tools. We've recently signed a contract with 3M for a product called 360 Encompass. 360 Encompass is going to be a tool to help the coders maintain that great productivity that we've all become used to. When we come to your region, We'll come with a full complement of resources from IT, with Vicki Ferguson and her resources from Revenue Cycle in the Home Office, and you in the region. We know that when we do this together, we're going to be successful on our journey to I-10.